Hey guys, Initial Shock back here with another video. Uh, I'm gonna try to make this one as quick as the other ones that have been. I, I've been dabbling around the seven and a half to ten minute mark. This one I'm gonna try to make a little bit shorter, but I have no idea how long it's gonna be. So, without further ado, let's just jump right into it. Um, what you're gonna see today is gameplay on Saritson. Now, in the background of what I'm gonna be talking about um, today is is um, gameplay on on the easiest way to actually get those airburst mortar kills um, for the for half of the unlock for the parabellum low weight jump into supply drop I don't like the game mode very much um, I don't like the game mode at all really um, but this is the easiest way to get mortar kills as you can see in the background um, you can just rake them in with the with this map or sorry not with the map but with the game mode everybody has to pile around those supply drops you just drop basically rain down those airburst mortars um, half of its luck half of its skill I had a I had my squad with me so they were dropping flares um, and they, they were helping me a lot so uh, shout out to those guys. Thank you very much for helping me with that part of the uh, Parabellum low weight. I've since unlocked it and it is a great gun. Better than the Perino defensive which I argued earlier in a few videos that was my favorite weapon of the DLC. Uh, as uh, I'm going to do a, a, a review of the Fedorov this week um, and I'll give you my final thoughts on the best weapon from the DLC. I think I jumped the gun a little bit with the defensive uh, 1908 Perino model. Um, so what I wanted to actually talk about today was um, this upcoming Battlefield announcement game that they've announced, kind of. Um, so that we're getting one in 2018 and there's a lot of speculation on the interwebs, on YouTube, every, everywhere. But amongst my squad mates we have heard rumors upon rumors upon rumors, um, and I'll just tell you which ones I've heard. I've heard of, oh geez, I've heard of um, like a Battlefield Hardline type of game. I don't know what that means, really. Battlefield Hardline, I actually started, you know, playing with the squad mates I met not too long ago just for fun when we got kind of bored of Battlefield 1. And uh, it's actually a pretty cool game once you get into it. Um, so I wouldn't mind I wouldn't mind something along the lines of that. Uh, what else What else have uh, I heard? I've heard I've heard Oh I've heard Vietnam that they're going to take it back to Vietnam, which um, they've already done before in Battlefield Bad Company to Vietnam, I believe it was. Um, so I mean they could bring it back to that which I w again I wouldn't mind you get the Hueys, the M16s, AK-47s, VC, American troops um, that wouldn't be a bad game to actually play that'd be kinda cool um, and then of course the big one which I've saved for last um, I've heard World War II that they might bring it back to World War II now those are all rumors all of them sit well with me I, I, I don't think whatever they choose it's gonna be good um, I know Battlefield 1 has a lot of issues and they basically released a game that was not finished but that is the case with most developers nowadays so um, I guess that's just the we get what we pay for and then that's what we pay for unfinished games that need to be continuously worked upon and worked upon and worked upon to actually uh, get up to our standards. Um, I know that they're uh, pushing through a patch soon to alleviate the lag and server issue. Um, I know a lot of you, I know a lot of my buddies have been having uh, some pretty bad connections with the games. They've been uh, disconnecting a lot, um, even disconnecting right from the Microsoft parties themselves. It's just it's not good. Um, you, get, you get guys kind of like hop, skipping, and jumping a across your screen that you can never hit with with a weapon. Um, but uh, I'm told and have read that the fix is coming. 
Um, what else can I touch on here? Oh, I've also heard that, um, or they are testing in the CTE sometime in the next couple weeks, or if not now, uh, the removal of sentry kits from smaller game modes, such as Team Deathmatch, Domination, and War Pigeons, um, which I am so excited about because those game modes do not need sentry kits they do not need the Valar Perosa they do not need the MG 0815 whatever it is they do not need the wax they do not need the trench raider they don't need any of that in those game modes it should be it should be man on man uh, you know person versus person no no tanks no nothing no you know superhuman sentry kits I'm, I'm so glad I heard that or read that I believe it was on Twitter um, somebody posted that I'll try to find the link for that and actually post it down I'll find a link for for everything I talk about here today and post it down the uh, the upcoming patch for the server lag and the uh, upcoming CTE changes to the sentry kits on those smaller game modes I myself I really enjoy the smaller game modes and I do believe the sentry kits do take away from that but that's not what this video is about, and I've rambled. So, um, we have three rumors. I ha I've heard of Vietnam, something along the lines of Hardline, something like that, and World War II. Now, my favorite uh, um, option is World War II. I know Call of Duty is doing that now, but I think Battlefield can do it to do it much better for us. Um, they always have in the past, maybe minus Modern Warfare and Modern Warfare 2. Uh, but those were classic COD games. I'm pretty sure everybody played them. They were they were really good um, at in their time. Now we got BF1, which a lot of people I think don't like. But there's still BF4, which a lot of people actually still play. And Hardline. When you jump into a match on Hardline, it's almost full, or it is full, and they're you know the servers are full almost all the time on Hardline. So I think a lot of people wouldn't mind any of those three options that, I, that I've heard of um, I mean they've done they've spanned across multiple uh, multiple years in history they've done their own thing they've done the future thing um, so uh, it would be interesting to for me and anyway to go back to uh, World War two and just just do it do it right right and properly and it'd be awesome anyway guys um, that's all the rambling I have for today. Um, enjoy your Tuesday. I will be back tomorrow with whatever Wednesday.